is love. All I need is love. I take no delight in your offering, but in a humble heart. All I need is love. All I need is love. Commandments and take my comment on your lips. You despise my law and throw my words to the winds. All I need is love. All I need. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear fathers, my dear sisters in your communities, my dear friends, families, youth, each one of you, uh, all God's blessings as we continue our journey of Lent coming closer to the Lord. Today is the 10th day of our walking with the Lord. 30 days more to go, it's a 40 day retreat. And uh, there are many prayer intentions in your charity. Uh, I invite you to pray for them, all of us together, praying for these many intentions over here. Please pray for my daughter, not been working the last one year, because the wor she works in a childcare field and closed because of COVID. Daughter-in-law to soon be blessed with a child. For my son to be blessed a good life partner, good health of my husband's self. And thanksgiving for all the blessings from Chennai. Then uh, thank you for your prayers. Gallbladder operation we prayed for done successfully. Pray for my daughter's safe, normal delivery, healthy baby son and family to get a UK PR permanent resident permit. My husband will be 75 on uh, uh, Friday. Pray special prayer for him for continue to keep good health. Pray for him. Pray for my father-in-law, his first death anniversary, 24th. My son will receive his first Holy Communion on 27th in uh, UAE, pray for our marriage, Silver Jubilee, but there are problems. My son and wife, I'm 44, I'm looking for a life partner. Mother-in-law is 96, but unfortunately detected with mouth cancer. Relief from pain from this at this moment. Successful surgery on the 24th. My father, two weeks ago, suffered a mild stroke in Goa. In-laws, frail health. Father-in-law with chronic cardiac, neurological problems. My aunt, a Doretto nun in, Can in Calcutta, losing her sight, kidney problems. Wife, frontline COVID worker. Younger brother celebrates his birthday on the 
24th, health of all my family members, elder brother, sister, and nephews, all infected with COVID, thanks, thanksgiving for our prayers, all have recovered. First year medical student, finals by March 2021, struggling in the circumstances. Healing of all heart ailments, strength in my heart, leg pain, success in studies, peace of mind, work at home, happiness, good health, safety, thanksgiving mass for the passing of medical entrance exam, we prayed for her, 18th birthday on 25th February, single mother of two teenage sons without a job, finding it difficult. Special prayer for my dear Cardinal, our dear Cardinal Simon Pimenta, 101st birthday on the 1st of March. We pray for him, especially. For my property in Karwar, house is demolished. Pray I may get a stay order compensation getting a good life partner, my son, good health. We get my salary, began working with a new firm. And from the Pontifical Mission for uh, Protection of Minors, uh, asking response to Holy Father's call to pray for all victims of uh, sexual abuse. Pray for all these intentions, many, many intentions. It was this time of Lent. It's our charity and our charity. We pray for all of them ardently. And during the day also, please remember so many intentions, so many people asking for our prayers. And but several here are thanking also. Let's begin now, putting ourselves in God's presence, asking his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father. Grant that seeking always the one thing necessary, carrying out works of charity, may be dedicated to your worship. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, This day the Lord your God commands you to do these statutes and rules. You shall therefore be careful to do them with all your heart and with all your soul. You have declared today that the Lord is your God and that you will walk in his ways and keep his statutes and his commandments and his rules and will obey his voice. And the Lord has declared today that you are a people for his treasured possession as he has promised you and that you are to keep all his commandments and that he will set you in praise and in fame and in honor high above all nations that he has made and that you shall be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Can you repeat? Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his decrees, with all their hearts they seek him. Response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. I will thank you with an upright heart 
as I learn your just judgments, I will keep your statutes. Do not ever forsake me. Response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Behold, now is a favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. If you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? If you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, as I was saying at the beginning of Mass, today is the tenth day of our preparation, of this 40-day preparation, Today is the 10th day of our preparation, and uh, I want you to make it like a 40-day retreat where you reflect, not only when, when you hear, read the gospel, when I give a few of sharing, also in the day, right through, allow the word of God to sink drop by drop into your heart and to strengthen your heart to make it more Christ-like, yours and mine, both of us, praying to God, coming closer. The first reading is from the Old Testament these days, and uh, it's, it's taken from Deuteronomy. I mentioned to you, uh, there are five books of the Pentateuch, very sacred, the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament, beginning with Genesis, then Exodus, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and then Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the fifth book. And uh, beginning with the creation, which we heard of God, and then now Deuteronomy is the fifth of these five books. Uh, traditionally, Moses is thought to be uh, like the, the author in that sense. God inspired the writer to. Here we have the 26th chapter of uh, Deuteronomy, and it is the farewell speech, practically, of Moses. He says he's 120 years, I'm weak, I've got no strength to come in and go out, and he knows that he has seen, he can see the promised land, but he says, the Lord has told me I will not enter it. Remember, there was some time before I mentioned the people were grumbling. They were led miraculously out of Egypt, but they were grumbling. And the Lord said, all those who grumble will not enter into the promised land. Your children will do that. And so here uh, Moses knows. But he's making his farewell, 20, making his farewell speech, telling them uh, lots after this. Then he gives a blessing to the people. He sings a great hymn of praise to God. And then afterwards he goes up and he, and he to the mountain and he dies. This, that's the end of Deuteronomy. And here we have in this passage chosen for us today, like a summary of what his farewell speech, where he's telling them, uh, God has made a contract with you. They are the chosen people. God made a contract with you, uh, but you have got to fulfill your part of the contract. He is choosing you, choosing you. He is taking care of you. But you've got to observe the commandments. You've got to observe the statutes, which we have. He's given the Ten Commandments. And there been so many laws he's given. Some are ritual, some are moral, some are disciplinary. 
And our Lord, when He comes really in the New Testament, then He purifies and interiorizes all this as we saw uh, right through in the Gospel. So here is a reminder. If you want to live, means God have God's blessing, you've got to observe the law. It's His farewell message to them. It's a long speech, several chapters of Deuteronomy, but uh, this today's reading summarizes in a way if you want to live, follow his commandments. This is a message to you and to me in Lent. Are we following God's commandments? Are we following uh, the precepts of the church uh, to live a life of discipleship with Jesus? Are we doing what God wants of us? This is a time for self-examination, examination of conscience, time for you to make your confession and go to God. Uh, go to the confessor for really spiritual direction. Uh, when you have... Uh, you are bound to go if you have a mortal sin. You may go and you're encouraged to go if you have smaller sins. I say also it's a time to obtain grace, this particularly time of Lent. And we come to this uh, Gospel of Matthew today, which is uh, like raises the bar very, very, very much. Uh, who, uh, whatever the, any, any leader, only Jesus could have the courage to say what is said over here. Which spiritual leader could say this? He tells them, must be, you've heard, love those who do good for you, love your neighbor, hate your enemy. Jesus says, love your enemy. Now, that's a difficult command. Only somebody who is son of God, somebody who has got, who's really, has got divinity in him because he's made by God, image of God, somebody who has got divinity in him because Jesus has died for him can really cross that barrier and even love your enemies. It's difficult. He says, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. And so I, I want to put before you this invitation, a challenge I put before myself also. Uh, today, let's do some act. Pray for somebody who you think is creating troubles for you, is harming you. You've got to be, Jesus says, you've got to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Can we ever be perfect? We can't. But Jesus is pushing us to work, walk towards heaven, walk towards the Father, and to live a life which Jesus gives us, that he lives in us. Let's take away from our heart all anger, all, even those who have hurt me. We can't keep revenge in our hearts. Time of Lent, we can't do that. We, we are in retreat now, we are coming closer to the Lord. Today, during, spend some time, really, say, hey, our Father, hail Mary, glory be, for somebody you think is angry with you, who's been unjust and unfair to you. It's difficult, but because we want to be close to Jesus, we will do it. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in his divinity self to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine 
may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gifts that they bestow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. Truly really right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, should humble our sinful pride should contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in our kindness. So we glorify you with the countless angels. With one voice we praise you as we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, if we may merit to be equal to eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, 
To you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Sign of peace. Christ, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those you refresh with this divine mystery. Accompany with salutary consolations those you have imbued with heavenly teaching. May to spread through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen your faithful, O God that ne never straying from your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass end. let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for participating. Have a lovely day, lovely weekend. God bless each one of you. Pray for each other. But don't forget you're in retreat and you've got to prepare for Easter, Good Friday, Easter Sunday. Today, pray for somebody who hurt you. God bless you. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. 
almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine we pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic we pray that the vaccine be available for all our people even the poor and those in rural areas we pray for doctors nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen this is my will my say